Welcome to the Alchemistic Laboratory. In this exercise, we're going to make this helmet from the Judge Dread. I think it's quite cool exercise to make in plasticity. I'm quite happy with the result. Once in Blender, I put some materials. In this case, I made some imperfections. This probably I can show in another tutorial if you want. But for the moment, let's start with the model. Okay, the first thing we need to do is go to the front view. Delete the cube. And then we just drag and drop our image. In this case, I need to be sure that it is in the middle. And then I go to the side view. And I just drag and drop the picture. Now, it is really important that you check that on the image, the, the tallest part should be in the center, which I think is actually in this little line here. I think that's the tallest part. And then as always, you just need to be sure that these two are matching. This would be correct. Okay, so now we can start with the materials around 30% front only and front. So now we can just move this one back and this one with G and move it around. Okay, what we need to do is as always, we just need to create a line, control point curve and go like this. Just accommodate these points. Like it is it is very similar to the Magneto's helmet. So we go now to the side view and we create a line somewhere here. And remember at this end point we just make this line here. I'm going to continue this curvature here like this. I think it will look much better in the end. And from here, I go straight and straight here. So this, now I cannot see correctly here, but I just guide myself with intuition. So now I grab these lines, make it like this. Now I need to extrude this part delete these lines and I grab the black edge, this blue and this black, loft it in G1, grab these two faces, delete them, mirror it and join it. Now this is something important. This visor, this part here, we can grab it just now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some lines here, but first I'm going to cut this line down here. So I suggest I grab a line somewhere here and then the line finishes somewhere there. Something like this, I grab this and make a soft chamfer. Then I cut this part and now we have more of our basic shape. Now this part, so I'm grabbing a line, crossing everything, and I just make it like this to have it there for the moment. And from here, I just grab a line. And from here, some control point curves. From here, again, some control point curves. Mm, I'm going to make it somewhere here in the middle because I think this looks like an extrusion. I don't know what is this. And then from here down, it's just another line. Okay. So we have this part, we can mirror it, grab these lines, join them and print them. And there we have it. And this line, we can also now imprint it. So this face, we can delete it. And these ones, we can press Shift D. This will be called visor. We can hide it. And this one, we can delete it. So we have the helmet and we have the visor separate from each other. Now these curves I don't need, I can delete them. 
I think at this point I can make a redundant topology. It's correct. What seems to work. And now we can just press F thicken. And we thick it inside. Something like this. So you see it's quite similar to the magneto helmet. Now what can we do next? So I suggest we do the, um, this shape here. Okay. So for this, I'm going to make a um, control. I'm going to make a line. Normal line that goes from here to here, then somewhere here, 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 and maybe close it there. Uh, something like this. Now here I'm going to make a soft chamfer, this here too, just similar to, to the reference object. You can do this like always I say, you can do this better at home. Just try to make it a bit faster for the tutorial. So you see I have this shape now, seems to work quite okay. Now from here, I need to make a control point curve. So I just draw some lines this way. Uh, maybe something here and something like this that goes down. Okay. So you have time to refine it at home. I'm going to imprint them. Okay. What do we do next from here? I need to make some straight lines. So I grab here and just where it's somehow snapping to this edge. Let's say there. So I mirror it, grab this one, imprint it. And we just delete the curves that we don't need. So in this case, I'm going to close the x-rays. This I don't need, so I delete with x. Press X again, X, and seems it's okay. X and X. Mm -hmm. Perfect. It seems quite good. These curves I can delete. Now, what else we need? Uh, we need these lines from here. So, I'm going to draw a line somewhere from here to here. Mm -hmm. I think it's correct. But actually, it should be all the way because this line continues there. Okay, so I'm going to just delete these curves. And this line, I'm going to move it all the way down. Mirror it. So we have these two and imprint it. Now, you see that when I imprint it, you will have an empty cap here on both sides. When these things happen, normally what you need to do is just move it a bit straight and imprint it again. So now you see that it is closed. This is perfect. And each face are individually selected. This is also great. So from here is pretty much straightforward. We just grab these two faces and offset them inside. And if you see the reference, this is also a bit down. So I'm going to offset these ones outside. Something like this. Great. Now these ones, I think I offset it too much inside. So Okay. So now what we need to do can delete these two lines. So you see the helmet is basically finished. That was no complication at all. And you have the visor. And this visor you can grab and make, for example, a thicken. Something like this. Now you have your perfect cool visor. Okay, so now we need to do, we need to make this little mohawk from here in front. So this mohawk starts from here in the middle. 
which would be this part. So I'm going to draw another line. It goes from here to maybe here. Mm, I think that's okay. So uh, again, I'm going to imprint it, but I just move it a bit in front. So it's imprinting. So you see, I have a cap. Okay, so I know that I need to grab these lines and move it to the back and imprint it. So now it's closed. Now, doesn't matter, here it's open because we're going to close it from here. So I'm going to make a line from here to here and imprint it. So now I just need these two faces. So what can we do now? I suggest we delete these faces, shift X. Now it is open. And I'm going to make delete redundant topology. So I just need to draw this curve. Okay, so I'm going to grab from this point a control point curve and I'm going to make horizontal another click. Maybe another click here and another click there. Now this point I move a bit up and somehow I think it matches. Now I mirror it and we have the two lines. And I'm going to use a super powerful tool from Plasticity, which almost nobody uses, but this, you will see why it is super cool. Maybe this is not the best example, but in the next tutorial I'm going to make, or one of the next tutorials I'm going to make the Mandalorian helmet. And in the Mandalorian helmet, you see that in this situation, we will need this tool that I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to make a point from here to here. So we just draw the line from the side. Now we need the line from the front, which would be from here to here. So I'm going to draw from this point, snap it, make a control point horizontally first, and then snap it to the edge somewhere I'm really close here. Okay. So now we have the front line and the side line. And then I look for a tool that is called Project Curve to Curve. My shortcut is Shift Command X. You can use your own if you want. So when I do it, it's going to make the graph this line and the one we draw in front and make an in between. Now we can delete this line and the one, and this one. We just need to snap this point to here. But you will see that this point, if we try to move it, it's not going to move anything from the curve. That's actually because we need first to rebuild this curve. So here down is the, the hammer icon. This is the rebuild. And in this case, the refit option just gives us enough points so now we can grab one, snap it to the end of the other curve, and now it works. We just need to mirror it and have it. Now I have this shape, and we just need to grab one straight line to this point. So I'm going to press here and press here, a curve. We do the same from here to here. Perfect. So that's the shape we need. So what we need to do now is graph these lines so that I don't get distracted. Delete them. Turn off the X-ray. What I want to do is graph from here and loft it to here. So let's see if it works now. It's making something strange. Okay. So that means because these two lines are separate. So I'm going to join them. Now it's a single line. And I'm grabbing these black edges and loft it. And in G1, it's perfect. It's just that we need to grab these guidelines with shift click. So shift click here and shift click there. And now we have the shape. Perfect. And from here, I grab this lines and also these lines here so you have this patch area and make a patch hole 
perfect it works so i just need to patch these parts so i'm going to join all the sheets maybe hide the blue curves and i make a patch so i select this curve this line this curve and this curve and patch it grab this this and this and patch it now it should work but it is not a solid so it is not a solid we can just delete this face okay so somehow there was a problem here i just needed to delete this face patch it again and now it's converted again to a solid so now we just need to make this shape of the batch. So for this, we need a control point curve, another one here down, a line that connects these lines, I grab these lines, mirror them, join them and imprint it. Great. And we do the same here. So grab a control point curve, we can duplicate it, join it, and from here we can just draw some lines that go from here, close it, and another line from here to here, to here, and close it here. We grab these two lines, mirror it, we can grab all these lines, imprint it, and basically we can just only extrude this. We can make an offset, something like this. I like that this is finishing where the helmet line ends or starts. And basically that's it. I think we finish our helmet. So you see it's quite easy very similar to the magneto one with just this little twist from this little mohawk on the front. Now we can just delete the redundant topology. And there we have it. We can grab this, convert it with command two or control two and make a soft chamfer. Maybe this one's too. Something like this. Mm -hmm. And we can grab this line and this line. And again, so there we have it. And then we have also our visor. So that's how you do the Judge Dread helmet. If you like these tutorials, please like, share and subscribe. This helps me a lot. Thank you for everybody else who has subscribed already and Give me a lot of cool feedback. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. This makes me super happy. Okay, so now the last thing to do is just bring it to Blender, put some really basic materials, basic illumination, and let's see how it looks. Okay, so now here in Blender, we can delete this. And before we connect it, I need to make just the, the floor we always do for the lighting. And I go to Blender, make the plasticity live link. So cool. I think the helmet looks super cool. I like it a lot. And see here, it's making a really cool smooth transition. Now, there is a little pinch here. This pinch you can fix at home. This would mean that this curvature is either not flat or this one as well could be a bit not flat, but this is some a minimum detail that we can just fix. Maybe if I patch this one, it should work. Now it seems to work now. What I did was delete this face and patch it and now it's even better. So that's how you fix it. 
locally. Plasticity is really cool. Okay, so let's put some basic materials and some illumination. Yeah, I think that that's, those are the colors, okay. So the only thing missing is we just need to make a, a render and see how it looks. Okay, now the render is doing. This I can maybe show in another tutorial how I do these imperfections, maybe these scratches. And so, I think the render looks quite cool. I like it, I think. I think this is a very good exercise to do in plasticity. And remember, if you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. This helps me a lot. I also have a tutorial which I am selling on Gumroad. The link is down in the description below. You can support me if you buy this, you support the channel. Thank you very much. Thank you for all your likes, all your support, your good comments. I want to thank you because you are a really cool community. I like it a lot. I'm very happy. I think at this point we can say excluto ad aureum. Until next time. Thank you.